<laughs> okay. Let's do some high score runs. As I I tend to do. Um I don't know which one I picked, so this will be interesting. Okay. Wait, 49,400. That was... I think that was international. Not sure. Well, let's try this out. Yep. I did watch some stuff on Doom 3 last night. I watched a review which ended up being one of the stupidest reviews I've ever heard in my life. Um, <clears throat> not because they were... That I disagreed with them, but I disagreed with what they found issue with. Um, one of the main points they brought up is that the weapons in Doom 3 are not accurate to real life. You're saying something about how the guns are more like left-handed versions of guns in real life? Oh boy. Ah! He, he said that they're more left-handed versions. They don't exist. Or something like the shells come out of the shotgun in the wrong place. They should be coming out of the right side, but in Doom 3 they come out of the left? And I was thinking, are you serious? Like, is he seriously complaining about the realism? of the weapons in Doom 3? I could understand in, like, Arma. Sure, sure, I could understand that. It's supposed to be kind of realistic. But Doom? A game whose story is predicated upon the... <laughs> the uh, people doing stuff with portals and opening portals to hell on Mars? Is, that's, that is the game he's reviewing, yes? Because I don't think they're going for realism with that. I could be wrong. But I just don't... I don't know, part of me just doesn't think that's what we're going for. So, that was weird. <laughs> I didn't agree with that. What's interesting is uh, I watched some gameplay, I watched a comparison between Doom 3 and Doom 3 BFG, and the flashlight thing is not the only thing they changed. They also made the game a bit brighter, which is strange. Um, also, apparently, the ammo is much more plentiful in BFG, so that whole thing I was confused about like why am I getting so much ammo I thought this game had a lot had not as much ammo um, I wasn't complaining about it I was just like huh that's weird I thought I thought I heard differently uh, apparently they did indeed change the ammo count for BFG which is interesting interesting choice I would say they they definitely... I feel like BFG did actually change it more into a normal Doom game. Um, although I still am not comfortable with those... Those... Monster closets, I think they're called. I don't know if that's a scientific term. But they're like, they're rooms where the enemies just keep coming. And you're in a, you're in a very tiny room, and then you gotta... Um... You gotta kill all the kill all the dudes. Um, <clears throat> they have a lot of those in that game, which surprised me. Or there, there weren't many, but now, oh my god, <laughs> that scared me. Uh, but now, as I get deeper into the game, it does seem like the combat is taking more of a focus. So I'm not complaining that there's less ammo or more ammo in this version. But it is interesting, I didn't know that that was a change. I didn't know that anything changed in the game except for the flashlight. But yeah, it... The changes, based on what I saw, do bring it more in line... Like, the original Doom 3 really was more of a survival horror game. And BFG makes it more of an action shooter. 
Uh, what with the plentiful ammo, the lack of necessity to switch between the flashlight and another weapon, instead making it so you hold on to the flashlight while having a weapon out. That kind of stuff, it does add a lot. It adds a lot to the atmosphere if you're not able to see stuff. I mean, I was imagining yesterday playing some of those missions without the flashlight thing. And I know you can actually turn that on in the options. You can make it so you can play it like that. Uh, I'm not going to because I do prefer <laughs> the version that I am playing. <laughs> Uh, I was just thinking, like, wow, this is this would be hard without the flashlight. You'd have to, like, remember where the enemies are, and... It's... It's spooky. I mean, there's some spooky elements in that game, no doubt about it. And they would be even spookier because of the flashlight. I also looked... Um... I looked at a guide not because I was wanting help or anything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I looked at a guide not to see where to go or anything, just to get a read on how far into the game I am. I am not far at all. Going by the level names, the level titles, I think we're on N Pro Plant 3, or maybe 2, or 1, even. Um, based on that, we're only about quarter, a quarter of the way through the game, which is surprising to me. Uh, uh, that game feels really long. <laughs> like, if we're already... Ishmael, hey. Ishmael. Good boy. Good boy, Ishmael. No. <laughs> Sorry, the kitties. Kitty, I should say. Getting a little too curious about Espy. <clears throat> um, yeah, so based on those level names, we are only about a quarter of the way through the game. And that scares me a little bit, because honestly, it's getting a bit intense. <laughs> it's getting... the kind of intensity I'm feeling from it is the same kind of intensity I feel near the end of the of Doom 2016. And I thought, oh, maybe we're actually, like, nearing the end of the game. No, no, not at all. In fact, it just... It only gets worse from here. So... I was... I, I'm a little worried, I guess. I'm a little worried, because they, uh... <sighs> it's getting intense. But I don't want to take a break from it or anything. I want to keep going. It's not like I'm not having fun with it. Just, uh... I'm surprised, that's all. I'm sure there is a way to jump over a barrel, grab the hammer, and turn to hit the barrel. That same barrel that you just jumped over. I'm sure there is a way to do that, but I am unaware of how to. Okay. I'll tell you, though, I am going doom crazy. Ah! I'm going doom crazy lately. Hello, Esby. It's a goosey moose. Have we not beaten this level yet? Oh, yeah, we have. We got the, uh... I mean, like, in today's stream, I think... Yeah, we got the rivet stage. But that's it. 
That's pretty bad. We need to we need to up our game a bit. Hello, Espy. So, um, yeah, I'm going Doom crazy. I want to play every game that's like Doom now, including, ugh, uh, including Doom. Or sorry, <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been getting Doom crazy. I've been playing a lot of games like Doom, such as uh, Doom. Um, but no, I, I bought Duke Nukem 3D. Uh, 20th Anniversary World Tour or something, which I heard is completely not, um, it's completely inferior to another version called the Megaton Edition, because it lacks all of the content of the Megaton Edition, and the content actually sounds pretty cool, honestly. Um, it's like a bunch of DLC packs, uh, new episodes, I think. It's... It does sound like I'm missing out on a lot of stuff by getting the 30th and 20th anniversary game, but the difference in price is quite staggering because the Megaton Edition, I can get it on disc, but who on earth plays games on their computer off of disc? I mean, come on. No. <laughs> But the digital version, now that it's been delisted off of Steam, it's very, very pricey. So, I figure pay $5 for it from for the 30, 20th anniversary on Steam. Pay, pay $5 for that. Oh man, I really am not doing well. Pay $5 for that, or pay way more for another version that I may not even like as much because I think uh, one of the main issues a lot of people are having with the uh, 20th anniversary game is that the, con the, uh, the mouse support, the mouse and keyboard are, are bad. There's a lot of mouse lag, but if there's controller support in it, I don't really care about that obviously because I play on controller. Um, with games like Duke Nukem and Doom, though, playing on mouse and keyboard is not as jarring for me, because you really don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> it's, it's kind of, I don't know, you just, you don't have to worry as much about buttons that you have to hit. It's very... It's very nice. The only buttons I think you have to worry about are fire and hit, like, open a door. That's all. Ah, I tried to hit going up the ladder. Ah! That's the only, those are the only buttons you need. Um, and then you can obviously switch between your weapons, but there's usually an option for mouse scroll. But I don't count those as buttons. I count like grenade, item, item one, item two, uh, deployable shield, all that. I count all those as, as buttons. Which I, I guess, I don't know, whatever. It, it's whatever. If, if you look at the, the control screen, or the keyboard binding screen, for, say, Doom. Oh! Versus the control, the key binding screen for the division. The the screen is so big on the division. I'm just I've actually never played the division on PC, but I'm assuming if it's anything like any game that's come out on PC in the last 20 years, the bindings are probably quite plentiful. Although, you know, that could also be because some of the bindings are dedicated to sharing screenshots, that kind of stuff. I guess that's true, isn't it? Whatever. I had a feeling that barrel was going to come down, and I'm so happy it didn't. Or did. Did it? I actually forget what just happened. Yeah, it did, didn't it? It did come down, that's why I was talking about it. Oh man, that 
so that's a tough one. I know there's a strategy of just crawling up the ladder to get away from the barrels. And, I don't know. I guess if you're gonna die anyways by standing there, the chance, the 50% chance that a barrel's gonna come down and hit you while standing on the ladder, that's still 50% chance that you won't die. As opposed to a 100% chance. So I should probably get used to changing that. Ooh, I wanna get this fire. Get out of here. Get out of here, you flame. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was a tough one. That was a that's tough. I'm I'm struggling to find better titles and go live notifications. So if it feels like the ingenuity with my go live notifications and titles is kind of lacking lately, it's because I really don't know how to... <laughs> I don't know how to describe Donkey Kong slash Doom Days in more ways than I've already done. Like, you can't really... I try to come up with, like, a clickbait question title. Oh! Oh, I should have gotten so many extra points for doing that. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, dude! This is awful! Where did Espy go? She just, like, ran away? Okay. Ooh! I, I try to come up with clickbaity questions, like... Are Caco Demons Caco for Cocoa Puffs? Like, that's totally clickbait. Yeah? But the difference now is that I can't even come up with a good clickbait title. I just don't know enough lore for Doom, I guess. Or something. I don't know. I have not bought the Cacodemon plushie like I said I would. <sighs> oh my gosh, dude! This is a bad day on Donkey Kong. This is bad Donkey Kong day, apparently. That's what I'll name the stream. And hey, y'all! Oh, SB. Yes, man. I feel that the bond I have with Ishmael is very special. Because whenever anyone else is here, he just doesn't he doesn't trust them. He doesn't want to be around them at all. Yet when I was at the shelter to pick him up, like when I when I found him, I um when I found him um <clears throat> he like, at the shelter, immediately upon opening the door so I could see what kind of kitty he was, he was climbing all over me. So I think it really is special that he loves to be around me so much. And he gives me those, uh, he kneads on me and he curls up around my neck and on my shoulder. It's nice, and it feels good to know that he loves me. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't really know what love feels like, but I'm gonna assume that he does love me. And that's an amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling to know that your kitty loves you. Or that something, anything loves you. I'm not saying Espy doesn't love me, of course she does, but... She's okay with people. She's okay with other people, is the difference there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Got a good train going. Got a good train. Ooh! I saw this thing on Facebook. Speaking of trains, I was 
thinking of an Aerosmith song. I, uh, train kept a rolling. That's what it is. Um, and I saw this thing on Facebook that made it sound like it was proposing that Steven Tyler. There's a story that Steven Tyler heard a song on the radio that he loved, and he told his bassist or someone that they need to cover this song. And then the bassist said, dude, that's one of our songs. I don't know how true it is, but I think that would be pretty funny. Like, who knows how many drugs have gone through Steven Tyler's system. I think only his dealer does. <laughs> only his dealer. <laughs> that's a scary thought, seriously. Okay. Let's get this other guy. Let's hope that these guys come up the ladder. Come up the ladder! The water's great. Okay. Uh, don't come up the ladder anymore, please. Thank you. Oh, boy! Ooh! Ah! <laughs> oh, man. That's too bad. I tried. Oh, I never did look into if you get an extra life for getting 10,000 points or not. Um... I don't know. Wes Copeland, if you're there, please, tell me. Ooh, not so fast! Not so fast, fireman! That was... I'm not gonna blame myself for that one. It was it was poor planning, maybe, but... Uh, it wasn't the worst play that I've ever had. Mm -hmm. The fire is very difficult to predict. In fact, that's... Oh yeah, I already talked about this. That's what makes fire so terrifying. You can't predict it. <laughs> It just, it, ugh, man, it's scary stuff, dude. In real life and in this game. It has a mind of its own. The, the only way you can control it, again, as far as I know, is by doing, oh, jeez. Please go down. Please go down the ladder. Please go down, though. Oh, I guess I, you know what? Let me do that. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, bouncy! Oh! <laughs> oh! It's so close. Actually, let's, um... Let's do later version. We'll do later version, we'll do a couple runs of this, and then we'll go to Doom. Maybe that's how I'm able to cope with Doom, because we get to play Donkey Kong before it. That's really the only reason for streaming is playing Donkey Kong. Everything else is just completely superfluous. I, uh, I still have a poster... I still have a poster in my room from Club Nintendo that has the Donkey Kong uh, construction site level. <sighs> Man, this is... This is embarrassing. I don't want me. Uh, and the poster makes me mad because it has 
the current score on the top left. And the current score is like 45,000, but it's on this level. It's on the first loop and on the first level. You cannot get 45,000 points on the first le loop of the first level. Get out of here. <laughs> and I think he had... I, I don't think he was missing too many lives. So it's not like he amassed a ton because he, uh... Because he was losing lives and playing the same level over again, like I have been doing as a strategy. I obviously only die in this game as a strategy to get more points. That's, uh... That's the only reason... If, uh, if anyone was wondering. Oh boy! I was thinking of playing one of these other Doom likes. Oh, I forgot to say what other games I was thinking of playing or getting that have to do with Doom stuff. Uh, Wolfenstein 3D. I definitely want to try that. It's been a while since I played that one, and I've never beaten it. I don't think I've ever even gotten past the first level, if I'm not wrong. So there's that, and then there's a game called Rise of the Triad? Dark Wars? Or something? Uh, that is interesting. I've never heard of that game. Apparently it had a 3D... Not a 3D remake, but a 3D... Oh boy. Big boy. It was, uh... It was like a remake or a, a reboot of Rise of the Triad. I think they were trying to do what they did with Shadowrun. Uh, not the same developers, but with Shadowrun, they, they completely redid the game for its its port or something. And, um... Not port. It re They remade it. And... That's what I think this developer was trying to accomplish with Rise of the Triad. Unfortunately, it has not garnered a great reception. It hasn't garnered the best reception. Uh, but that's for the remake. Re reboot. The... The original game is like a very strange amalgamation of elements from Wolfenstein and Doom. I guess it was initially going to be a sequel to Wolfenstein 3D. It was originally going to be called uh, Rise of the Triad Wolfenstein Part 2. I think that's honestly what it was going to be called. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's interesting how that kind of stuff gets made. Um, and obviously now we we have Rise of the Triad. And it's it looks just like Wolfenstein and Doom. It's the the faux 3D. I guess it's not actual 3D, but 3D ish. <laughs> um, has the 3D ish engine, and then it has. Um, it just has a lot of wacky stuff in it. You can use boost pads to try and get tokens that are like Ankh tokens. that give you an extra life. Which is weird, I've never heard of lives in one of those games. Um, Duke Nukem 3D, obviously. Doom 1, Doom 2, Doom 64 Absolution, which is a full conversion mod for Doom 2, um, based on, obviously, Doom 64. There's another... You can play Doom 64 on PC, but I don't really want to do it like that, so, like... What I have to say is just get over it? <laughs> Make like Bennett Foddy and get over it. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just the truth. I don't know what I was doing. I was trying to do some fancy footwork to get that barrel that's going down the ladder. I couldn't do it. 
I don't remember what I was telling you guys to get over. That was close. Uh, it was unreasonably close. I didn't really mean to get it that close. <laughs> okay, there we go. I know that the last time we did that... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, the last time I picked up a hammer when two barrels were coming at me... Oh, my gosh, dude. You need to stop. Uh, it was... The separation between them was much greater. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. The separation was much greater than that, so... Okay. Um, I finally watched the new episode of The Proposal last night, because, um, I was gonna watch America's Got Talent, but apparently they took the week off because of July 4th, even though, you know, the show was airing on July 3rd. I didn't really, didn't really get that, but okay, uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm not, I need to look up point pressing, because <laughs> obviously I don't know what to do. This level is very difficult for me because again in the NES game they don't have it in that game unless you're playing the special version of course oh my gosh so I don't have the same amount of practice with this with that level as I did with the other one. Oh boy Mm. Don't like this. <laughs> I guess we'll get some points. And beat our high score. Not getting excited. There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. Come on. Ah! Is that... Seriously? Do we only... Oh. A high score is a high score, yeah, I know, but, like, could we have done a little better, I guess? Ugh. I want to, I want to try it again. Do you want to, yes, I do. It's going to push us up, like, zero spots, but I do want to do that. Okay. Try this again, and then we'll move on to the main topic of the night. Doom 3. Okay, here we go. It's weird. I don't think I've ever seen a barrel go down this ladder un right under me. That's so weird. I swear they're supposed to, but... Maybe not. I, I no, they go down the broken ladders all the time. Otherwise, you would just want to stand on a broken ladder all the time, right? <laughs> Yeah, see, they just did it right there. Yeah, never mind. I don't know. That's weird. I swear I've never seen him go down that one ladder, though. It's very strange to me. Uh... Is point pressing even necessary? Because we got 4,700 points there.
But if we got up to the top of the screen at the right, at a good pace, we would have had probably like 4,600. I swear, it's... That's weird. That's weird, I don't trust it. I think this is what you're supposed to, this is the level you're supposed to do all that point pressing in. Maybe. I don't I don't know, dude. I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you know how to play that level, you can get a lot of points on it. Cuz you can jump over all of those concrete pie thingies. It honestly might be a placebo effect when I'm standing on a ladder and I am trying to get the fire to go down. It might just be a placebo, but it really it does seem to work. If I didn't go for that rivet, I would have been fine. It's okay. Maybe we'll just not care about the purse. Let's just climb up to the top, get everything that we can up here. Get that all sorted out. Yes. Oh boy, I didn't... I didn't want him to... Okay, well... I had the power! You know, I had the power to get the hammer whenever I wanted, and now we're here. Can we get all the fire? Can he do it? Can he do it? No. He can't. But hey! That was a good amount of fire. That's more fire than I've ever seen in my life. It's good. Oh no. Okay. I was confused by the speedrun I was watching on Doom 3. I didn't watch too far because now that I know that I'm playing the game, I don't want to spoil too much. But it's interesting, he actually was. He had the BFG really early. I'm wondering, was he maybe playing on New Game Plus? Because he had the BFG, like that Spider Lady boss that we had. She was difficult for us, but this guy was able to get her down with one shot because of the BFG. It's very... It was weird to me. Oh man, that was stupid of me! If you want more fire, check out my mixtape. Welcome, Bieberg4. Do you have a mixtape, Bieberg? Because if you do, that's kind of, uh... It's kind of combating me, because I have a mixtape out, too. And I don't want to... I don't want to compete with you, I guess. I don't want competition. I mean, I know that I'd... I'd blast you, but... I guess it's it's more that I don't want you to get blasted. Because I know that... I know that I'm going to blast you. Oh, falafel on my face. This run was going pretty well, I think, but now it's just not... <sighs> it's not looking good. I don't? Why you gotta threaten me with that then, bro? I guess you didn't actually threaten me with your mixtape, did you? You just... You let everyone know of the existence of your mixtape, but apparently that was a lie, and now I'm wondering why did you even lie to us? Why would you lie, Bieberg? What if I want to get blasted? Well, come to the right place, I guess. Please, Hammer, do not go away before all these barrels are taken care of. Please. 
Yes! That was brilliant. Ah! That was not brilliant. That was... <sighs> that was not brilliant. I think in the US version you only have 20 seconds to put in your name, probably because you have exactly three spaces as opposed to 500, so it's nice. Something interesting, I don't... A lot of arcade games do that, where you have to put in your name, but they don't... You can't go up or down, you have to only go left and right with the joystick. And I'm wondering, why is that? Oh, probably because... No? I was gonna say probably because you don't... You never go up in this game. You don't need up, you only need left and right, but no! You can go up! You go up ladders! You go down ladders! You go up in life, you go down in... Everything else, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Um... Are you gonna beat that guy who's number one? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, we're, we're on our way to doing that. I should call this series Let's Beat West Copeland. <laughs> I think that would be fun. It would also be false advertising because obviously I'm too bad at this game to beat Wise Copeland. Oh boy. Yes! It worked! It worked. Okay. Oh, I forgot to say, like, Happy Fourth of July on the Go Live notification. That's right, I was gonna do a 4th of July themed stream today, but I couldn't find anything that was 4th of July themed, so I didn't... Tsk, whatever. <laughs> if you beat him, he's gonna come beat you up. What if I like getting beat up? Oh, come on! I was literally a pixel away from getting up to the top. I just lost so many points because of that. These awful, awful games. They just, they're awful and I hate them. I hate them. I could have gone on that, I know. But... Uh, we're not going to talk about how close I came to dying right there. Because <laughs> I was not going to almost die. I don't want to hear it. Tsk. 
Why did I do that? That didn't make sense. Why would you do that, Trog? Oh man, ho <laughs> ho, I did not see that guy. I really, really should have died there. I know it wasn't that close, but I did not know he was there. I know it, me. <laughs> she likes sleeping on the top of the cat tree. And she's getting a lot better at coming down from it too. I'm really proud of her, honestly. I'm not just being a proud parent, I'm just like, well, I'm, I am being a proud parent. That's literally what I'm being. But I'm not just proud of her because I'm her parent. I'm proud of her because she did something very extraordinary. She overcame her fear of falling from a great height. Oh, fall on a f spike, you flying cat. Not cat. No. Flying cacodemon. That's that's a better one. Sorry. Yes! He's done it! He has hit the barrel after jumping over the barrel. He has done what he thought was impossible and then he died because he's a... He's obviously really bad at everything. Okay, we're gonna try one more time. I know we did beat our high score. Even though it says 36,500 on there. We did get 36,700. Thus, we did get a high score. Ugh. I could do it! <sighs> oh boy, can you go down, please? Okay, 367, that's... that's okay. Skin ticket? What the hell? What is that? That's disgusting. Uh, also, yeah, we're gonna restart again because I didn't I didn't like the start on that. <laughs> did it did it I don't know, I still didn't look up why sometimes 